Okay guys, so I wanted to come and do another look for you. I have this idea in mind for this kind of like an updo. So I wanted to go ahead and share it with you guys. I'm gonna go ahead and do my face like I did in my Valentine's Day video and then I will come back to you guys when I am ready to take care of this hair. Um, it's so dry. Oh my God, it's so dry. Like, ugh, it is dry and I need to retie. So I'm in like that stage where I'm just like, I need to retie. I don't like the way my perimeter is looking. Let me see if I can show you guys. But yeah, it's just, it's to me, it's a mess. It's a mess. I really don't feel like doing anything to it today. So I'm just gonna try to do a simple little style to keep it up and out of my face. <sighs> so if you would like to see what I'm gonna come up with, then go ahead and keep on watching. Okay, but real quick, before I go ahead and do my makeup, I just wanna go ahead and prep my edges for the look since they are gonna be exposed a little bit. And right now I just got all this frizz going on up here. Like this is literally, my edges, they be coming out every month. They need to be constructed back into my locks, but whatever. So we're just gonna go ahead and take care of the hairline real quick first. All right, so I am going to finish this last bottle of Jamaican black castor oil on my hair. But yeah, I'm just gonna use this to kind of moisten up my hairline a little bit. All right, and then I am going to use this Wetline Extreme Gel. This was like a really good gel when I was a loose natural. Like, I feel like I was really on the road to discovering a really good wash and go before I got locks using this gel, but I don't really need it that much now. <laughs> so if you're a loose natural, you should definitely go ahead and try this out. It is worth the hype and I have really thick 4 hair and it was really giving me some good curl definition. So I'm just gonna take a little bit, rub it in my palms and then put it on my hairline. I'm not really um, gonna lay my baby hairs how most people do them with like the little swivels and curls. I just need it to be a little bit flat, you know? I'm just gonna do that. Take a brush and then brush it down. And then of course, I'm just gonna go ahead and lay it down with a little scarf. Right, so by the time I finish my makeup and then get ready to put my hair up, they should be nice and flat. My edges should be nice and flat. All right, y'all, so we're gonna go ahead and do the hair now that the makeup is done. So yeah, I'm gonna try to do this real quick because people are waiting on me to come and get my child. So let me hurry up and do my hair. So of course I'm gonna take this spray, I'm gonna mist it. Get it a little bit saturated. Okay, let me go get my baby out here, I'm crying, hold on. All right, so let's try to go ahead and get this done before there is any more interruptions. As you see, my hair is laying down now because it has a little bit of moisture in it. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is just go ahead and bring all of my hair to the front. And I'm gonna take my scarf, which is more of a rectangle than it is a square, but I'm gonna fold it like this. I 
kind of how you would fold it if you were going to do like a bandana. I'm going to take it. So that square part that's left, I'm just going to fold that down in the back. And then tuck the end. And then I'm going to tie it in the front. Being sure to kind of bring that hair back for a second. put it in the knot and then I'm just gonna push it up just a little bit so my hairline is slightly exposed now then I'm just gonna go ahead and create like a little bun in the front Tuck that in, cover that up. And then I'm gonna somewhat make a part in the middle of my hair to make a separation. Now I need a rubber band, but I can't find any, so I'm just gonna go ahead and use this hair tie. And what I'm gonna do is just go ahead and put it at the very end of my hair, just a few times. Okay. And then I'm gonna do the same thing on this side. Now I'm just gonna go ahead and kind of take my finger, tuck it. And then pin it down. So we have that going on. And then we're gonna do the same thing, kind of tuck it. down and then you just want to mold it to however you like now this is one way that you could do it but I don't really like how the knot is kind of taken away from what's going on at the top so I'm gonna switch that around and I'm just gonna go ahead and wrap this to the back all the way tie it in a knot and then just tuck the ends under the bottom. Okay. And then if I need to adjust anything, I will go ahead and do that. Well, that's pretty much it for today's video. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, be sure to go ahead and share this on any of your social media platforms and I will leave some videos up on the screen for you guys to go ahead and check out next. And until then, I'll see you in the next one. Bye.